I appreciate, I appreciate all the, you know, the, these contributors. It's just amazing to me that this, um, that free and open source software is even available, mm -hmm. that, that we have choices. I am very, very pleased with how I think the, the overall project has like evolved because, you know, even when I was kind of, and, and I don't think I'm a like long time Linux user. I think that I fit in somewhere in the middle, I guess, but you needed newer software basically back in even four or five years ago, right? Because there was so many kind of bugs in your desktop or your desktop wasn't nearly as uh, developed mm -hmm. as it is now. I mean, even people complain about KDE, for example, you know, and say it's buggy and this, that, and the other thing. And then, you know, GNOME is this, and it's only for certain types of people for certain types of workflow. But since Debian 12 came out, mm -hmm. people, I don't think are as, um, they don't need to necessarily have to have the latest and greatest software. I think we're at the point with desktop environments and with software in general that you can get away with older packages mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, like in Debian 12, you know, whereas before, I don't know that you could say that, you yeah. know, I don't know that you could go to that level where you could say, yeah, but I need this functionality and it's just not there yet, or it's just not developed enough yet. But I think I think we're there now mm -hmm. to the point where it's stable. I mean, we're where we don't have to be like waiting on that next version to to get the most out of uh, either that desktop environment or that distro or what have you. We're 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 good. <laughs> we are good. In fact, I thought to myself that when Debian twelve came out, this might be the most important version of Debian for desktop users than there has maybe ever. Mm -hmm. Because when you when you think about Ubuntu and, and a lot of the uh, distros that use Debian as their core, mm -hmm. they're all, you know, they're basically taking that and then running with it and making it desktop. You know, they're all about the desktop. I mean, Ubuntu does have server, obviously, but, you know, but there's a lot more um, there's, there's a lot more development for the desktop user as opposed to Debian where I don't know that they are, you know, when it comes right down to it, I use Debian and I use Debian for, um, my starting point, but I don't know that everybody has that. I don't, you know, you're getting vanilla everything when it comes right down to it. You, you know, it, when you're a newer user, you're going to go the way of Linux Mint, Debian Edition, or just Linux Mint. Mm -hmm. You know, I always say that it's like, you know, if you're a Windows user, go do that. Go go to Linux Mint and put this put Cinnamon Desktop on and see if you like it. Mm -hmm. Because that is your easiest transition point. Mm -hmm. No question, if you're asking me, because GNOME and KDE are not going to be as, I don't know, it's not. It's not the same transition that you would from Windows to those two. Pa well, those GNOME two is a environment. very different model. Like they yeah. it's explicitly a different model. And KDE looks kind of similar, but it has a lot of customization that it it like. If I'm being honest, it does a really bad job at separating out. How do I say it? it separating out the simple user experience with the advanced user experience where it's all mm. just if you know how KDE works it works relatively well together but there's a lot of things that you need to like look at if you're just trying to find basic things yeah i'm i'm not like i said i have tried to use KDE i've tried to use gnome and 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 yeah that was a while back. And so I haven't really given it another shot. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess I did one video in bookworm for KDE minimal, because like if you, there's different packages for KDE on Debian stable, there's minimal, there's standard, there's just the full, the full Monty and all that. But at the same I hope time, that's what they call the package. <laughs> it's, it's not, but <laughs> mm -hmm. 
it's 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 a uh, minimal stand no what's it called it's called plasma desktop and then it's standard and then there's something else oh just the task cell it is task cell kde um so you have those you have those options basically. Mm -hmm. And so you could, you can get really minimal when it comes right down to it. In fact, I did the minimal install for KDE on one of those videos. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, <laughs> people were saying, I can't remember what, um, is it called Conqueror? Conqueror came as a uh, package with that minimal install. And was, people were like, is Conqueror really a part of the minimal install? I said, yeah, I mean, that's the way it is. Sure. um yeah <laughs> but as far as but as far as like like i said i've tried to help other people make that transition from windows or Ma even mac os for that matter mm -hmm. and say listen if you're really interested in doing this don't mess around just try to use like mint and cinnamon and see if that's something that you can you can work with mm -hmm. you know because and then and then go and because because they're looking at like they're looking at uh dt for example and he's using x monad and he's like oh my god that's fantastic and or you know and, and i'm like Haskell. don't yeah don't do that <laughs> don't don't do don't do that you know or even me trying to show them what you know it's like this is what bspwm is like and and they're like wow that's really cool functionality i said don't do that just just do something simple you know, and then make that transition. If you're that interested, you're going to find your way. You really are because you'll have your workflow that can be modified and then tweaked and tweaked and tweaked. And then, and then you're going to be like a convert. <laughs> you know, you're going to be the, you're going to be like one of our uh, new 4% um, desktop users, you know? Yeah, I, I'm also a bad example to follow because I started on Arch i3. Like, that was my first introduction. You can do it, right? But I yeah. I went into it with a programming background. I had watched a bunch of videos beforehand. I knew what I was getting into. If you don't know what you're getting into and you're not fully aware of what it means to configure a window manager, use something like Arch or Debian SID, just don't. Just don't do that. Yeah, no, I'm I fully agree with that. That's especially. I mean, like I said, there's a reason why these window users are looking for something else, mm -hmm. you know. And it just could be something simple, like they got old hardware, or they just want to be stable, mm -hmm. or they just don't like like the fact that Windows or Microsoft is trying to sell them something constantly. Mm -hmm. Make it make it easy on yourself, you know. And so I think. I think that um, I think that a few of my friends have made that transition, and they're very appreciative. But uh, but I wish <laughs> wish there could be more people that have that would follow into that category because I know I have a lot of friends that are like I start talking about it and they go, "Yeah, I'm not doing that ever. I'm just not. Right. <laughs> you, you could talk to me about Linux all you want. I don't care. <laughs> you know." Yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out, man. 